ready for something different today. The inspiration for this video came from a comment Colin left on another video here on the channel. Uh, he's interviewing multiple people and taking all the notes in a single note in Evernote. He reached out to me because Evernote doesn't have that collapsible title feature to shrink the text below a title. And he was looking in his word for a solution that would create less mass. He also told me he doesn't think it's worth it to keep a separate note for each person. And well, I don't agree with that. And since he asked for my help, here's what I told him. And by the way, a, everything you see today on Evernote that I'll show you on Evernote is exactly the same thing I do on Obsidian, even though Obsidian has the collapsible title to hide uh, the, the, the tags below that title. So let's take a look. Here's what I told him. Create one note per person. And the first benefit here is that we can see the creation date of each person, each note. So we have the 19th here, 13th, 11th, 9th, and so on. The creation date is visible on this view and also on the cards view, so you can see the creation date. But let's say you want to use the a list, you can click here, right click this bar and add date created. Let's shrink this a little bit. The creation dates are back, but in order to have the notes ordered by creation date, we have to have it set here, date created. Okay, I'm going back to the snippets view to show you another option. Now, if we go back to this option here, we can see the show notes in groups. I now have July, so all these notes are from July, and I have June, all these other notes are from June. Don't ask me why it doesn't work here. I don't know. <laughs> it would be nice. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the benefits of having a note for each person. For example, uh, let's say you want to remember who you interviewed, I don't know, yesterday, a couple of days ago. The names will be at the top of the list. And the same is true if you want to remember who you interviewed at the very beginning of the process, down below, right? And now that I have a note for each person, there's a lot that I can do here. Let's say I want to know who are the best five. I can create a best five uh, tag. So let's filter here by best five, three best five. <laughs> The three best five, <laughs> you got the idea. But check this, Evernote is also suggesting the math tag. During the intervals, you created these tags because you also wanted a person that is good on math. So I can now click here and now we have two people that are among the best five and are also good on math. But there's more. There's also the sharing. If you need to share one or more nodes, you don't have to share the entire node. You can select the ones you want to share and share them. If for some reason you need to link, connect one or more people to another node, you can do it. Let's create a new node here. And uh, let's say I want this person here. Uh, I don't know, I want to take some nodes here and this other person here. Or maybe I'm creating a node like this to share with other people that are also working with me on this interview. I don't know, there's so many things that we can do with one note per person. But the key here, in my opinion, is chronology. Chronology is natural. <laughs> the universe invented chronology, <laughs> so, our brain is wired to understand chronology. 
I recently wrote an article about uh, my tips to move your notes from Evernote to another app if you want to switch to another app. And one of my points there was chronology. Uh, this is a feature many Evernote users take for granted, but it's a very powerful feature. And some apps can order notes just like Evernote. For example, on Obsidian, you can order your notes by creation date, alphabetically, just like we can do on Evernote. If you are interested in that article, you'll find a link in the description below. Like I said before, there are many other things that you can do if each person has a note. For example, you can save some of those filters we just created. Anyway, I hope this one was useful. If it was, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Oh, go have some fun. Life is much more than a to-do list. See you soon.